right here we see a pair of trumpeter swan or Cygnus buccinator. They're among the largest of the waterfowl of North America and a prime example of wildlife conservation success. They were nearly wiped out due to habitat loss, hunting, and collisions with power lines, but thanks to rigorous conservation efforts, the species has since recovered. In the wild, they are mainly herbivorous, although the young may eat certain types of small crustaceans or frogs. Trumpeter swan gets its name from the loud bugle call it makes to attract the mate. And the trumpeter swan has one of the biggest wingspans of all waterfowl. Here we see the gray wolf, the most widespread carnivore in the Americas. In addition to North America, they can also be found in Europe and Northern Asia. The wolf is the largest canid in the world, and beyond that, the ancestor of domestic dogs. Wolves are highly social creatures that live in large British family packs that can range in size from 6 to even 30 members. In the wild, wolves hunt animals such as moose, caribou, and elk. And after a successful hunt, all the members of the pack help care for the pups. Here we see the moose, or Alces Alces. Moose are the largest deer in the world and can be found across much of the United States and a lot of Canada, mainly living in forests. In the wild, they eat leaves, twigs, and they're even able to swim down deep to get aquatic plants. They have a distinctive flap on their necks called a dewlap. Unlike most deer, which live in herds, moose live alone, except for mothers with calves. However, in the far east of Russia, moose are often called elk. And during the rut, males will give out a low bellow, which will both attract a female, like this, or ward off rival males. In fact, during the rut, bulls can get so aggressive that they even attack trains, likely mistaking the whistle for the call of a rival bull. Here we see the caribou, or Rangifer tarindus. There are multiple different subspecies of caribou living throughout their range, some in forests, but many on the Arctic tundra. Unlike most deer, both male and female caribou have antlers. Caribou are well known for undergoing large migrations across the tundra, both in search of greener pastures and to get away from biting flies. And in many parts of the world, caribou have been domesticated into a form known as reindeer, used for a multitude of purposes, such as being raised for their milk, and yes, to pull sleighs. In fact, the very first animals to arrive here at the Columbus Zoo were in fact reindeer. Here we see the American black bear. Now I know what you're thinking, but that's a brown bear. Well, there are actually multiple color phases that occur throughout a black bear's range. This one happens to be the cinnamon. It's not a brown bear because notice that does not have a big hump of shoulder or muscle on its shoulders, which would be a characteristic of brown bear. But like the brown bear, the black bear is an omnivore feeding on berries, insects, honey, carrion, and fish. Every year during the summer and the fall, they build up layers of fat for their hibernation. And a bear's sense of smell is ten times that of a bloodhound. Unlike brown bears, which have claws more designed for digging, a black bear's claws are more designed for climbing. Unlike most bears, whose numbers are dwindling, the American black bear's numbers are actually on the rise, 
and there's a total of 600,000 living in the wild, thus making the American black bear the most numerous bear in the world. Here we see the cougar. Okay, call me Puma, mountain lion, whatever, the same animal. Anyway, the cougar is the second largest cat in the world in the western hemisphere behind the jaguar. But unlike the jaguar, cougars can't roar, but they can purr like a house cat. In the wild, they hunt prey of many sizes, from small ones such as raccoons and rabbits to larger ones like deer. And cougars are incredibly good jumpers. When vertically, they can jump up to 15 feet into the air. But just like with African lions, when cougar cubs are born, they are born with brown spots that act as camouflage. Cougars were once widespread throughout North America, but hunting and human settlement has reduced them to just the western states and Canada. This may not be the Marvel superhero, but here's the real life Wolverine, or Gula Gula. Wolverines are mustelids, the same family as weasels, ferrets, stoats, badgers, and otters. They've often been called skunk bears because they have the same ferocity as a bear, and like the skunks, they spray foul-smelling musk, although in this case it's more to mark their territory. In the wild, they eat large mammals such as moose and caribou, and they eat carrion. They've even been known to drive bears away from carcasses, and, yeah, and Wolverines have among the strongest bite forces in the animal kingdom. They're even able to bite through meat that's frozen solid. So that's one way of taking advantage of nature's freezer. <laughs> in fact, the Wolverine's Latin name Gulo Gulo comes from the fact that they used to be called the Gluttons. I've never seen a Wolverine in locomotion and in person before. All rise for our country's national bird, the bald eagle, or Haliaetus leucocephalus. The bald eagle's name actually comes from the Old English word piebald, which basically refers to any animal that's black and white. Case in point, the bald eagle's white head. Bald eagles belong to a family of eagles known as fish eagles and sea eagles. Eagles, and the mainstay of their diet is fish, hence why they like to nest in areas near water. The bald eagle builds the biggest nests of any bird. Some are even used for generations, and as is the case with many birds, bald eagle pairs work together to raise the eaglets. The bald eagle is a prime example of wildlife conservation success. They were almost wiped out mainly due to pesticides such as DDT. But, thanks to rigorous conservation efforts such as the ban on DDT, the species has since recovered and has been removed from the endangered species list. For the most part, it's forbidden to keep bald eagles in U.S. zoos, with the exception of rescues.